And so here she's stuck, and she feels like she's the, the mom who's, you know, pulling the kid out of the game and doesn't want to look like that. And here, here's, this, here's this eighth grader who's leading the way and saying, no, like, I, I need to be at church. I, I want to hear God's word this morning. And I, I also think it's interesting, too, he, he valued not only the teaching, but he valued the community and how, how important this community is for us. And uh, I think back to, um, to my high school experience, uh, to a friend of mine. His name is uh, Crazy Willie. That's what he liked to go by, Crazy Willie. His name was Bill, but he didn't like Bill. Um, so in, uh, Crazy Willie and I, we played, we played trombone together. Um, I, was, I was a band geek. I'm not afraid to say it. And uh, so we grew up and played trombone together and everything, and um, he, uh, we ended up making a Christian ska band together, which is a little bit more shameful. Um, <laughs> but, um, so we played, and I was, the, I was the lead singer, we played, we had, a, we had a chick drummer, which we thought was the awesomest thing ever, and uh, we just jumped around, we had a good time, and uh, played for hundreds of young people at lock-ins and, and all sorts of stuff. And, um, at one of those shows, we were playing a church show, um, Crazy Willie and I had um, gone and we were sitting in a pastor's office by ourselves. And um, while, we were, while we were sitting there, uh, we were just having a good time and hanging out. And eventually, um, we got to talk about a lot more serious stuff. And he started asking me questions about um, God and life and um, why he had experienced the things he had. And uh, through the course of our conversation, it was uh, a really moving time, he decided to make that leap of faith and he accepted Christ into his life. And um, it, was, it was just really interesting and I think looking back, um, we just created an environment where we could have fun um, and where we were trying to glorify God with our music. And through that, he heard some of the lyrics and he thought, oh, this is interesting. And it was through relationships, though, um, that were really what brought him in and, and got him to be a part of our community. We were able to, to journey with him all through high school. And uh, it's just really cool. But I think one thing is, is that we really try to be intentional about making um, God's story contagious to other people uh, while we were in high school. And I think that that's something that we as Christians have got to do is we've got to make this story of Jesus contagious to other people. So um, if, my second point here, this, this leads in nicely, is that, um, is that looking back, um, I can see how God works through seemingly insignificant obedience. And uh, I was thinking back to, to David in the Bible, and you think he, uh, he has this menial job, just kind of, kind of boring, he's tending to his sheep um, and everything, and God takes him and says, uh, says later on, you're a man after my own heart. He, he takes him and takes him to be the king of Israel. I mean, just this complete transformation. And that was because he was uh, obedient in those seemingly insignificant things. And you look at the story of Abraham and um, another faith hero. And uh, he was waiting and waiting and God had promised him a child. And then he just kept being obedient and God gave him that blessing. So, um, I want to I tell you another story about a time in, in my life, um, in high school, where um, something seemingly insignificant happened, but it was very significant. 